Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we got the Anta Kai 1 um, in the Artist on Court colorway. Um, I was fortunate enough to pick up a pair from GOAT in a size 12 and a half and I was able to play in them for quite some time and I have lots of thoughts, but these quite possibly might be one of my favorite shoes of 2024. So let's get right into it. So a little bit of the backstory on Kyrie Irving before joining Anta. He was obviously with Nike for a period of about nine or 10 years or something like that. And he had a signature line. At that point, Nike and Kyrie decided to part ways in December, 2022. And so at that point, Kyrie was really just wearing his same signature shoes, but with different shrouds and customizations, just to avoid any branding being obvious on the shoes themselves. I don't think obviously Kyrie's gonna to wanna to give any free marketing to Nike at that point. Moving on to September, 2023, it was announced that Kyrie had signed with Anta and actually uh, was named their chief creative officer. At the same time, they debuted his logo and eventually they debuted the Anta Kai one. And um, honestly, there was a lot of fanfare, I think obviously because Kyrie has such a huge fan base, uh, but not to mention the shoes themselves are fantastic looking. From a color perspective, I'm a huge fan of the color um, choices that they made on the shoe. A lot of the material choices, um, for me, I really did um, like how they kind of put everything together, the design itself, it was just very forward thinking. On top of that, they announced the price, which came in at an eye-watering $125. I couldn't believe that they can make a shoe that looks that good come down at a price of $125. And obviously when I think about $125 for a basketball shoe, I think about compromises that are made um, just to get the shoe to that price point. Um, and then it got into reviewers' hands, obviously, and a lot of the reviews were positive. I myself went out and bought a pair on GOAT. I spent a little bit more than I wanted to, about $100 over retail, so roughly about $225 um, for a size 12 and a half, which is the size I prefer, just because Kyrie's do tend to run a little bit small for the Nike side of it. On the Anta side of it, I wasn't really sure, but without further ado, let's get into this review. Now, I'm someone who is pretty big on packaging, presentation, and things like that. I think if you have a signature shoe, you should have a good presentation along with it. Um, and so what was more surprising than anything else about the Antikai one was the packaging itself. It comes in the drawer box with a lot of the glyphs and things like that that um, were associated with uh, Kyrie and this specific launch. But this uh, slide out drawer box is something that you don't normally see at this price point. So again, you know, putting a lot of money into the marketing, a lot of money into the actual design of the packaging, spending a lot of like time and effort kind of just creating an entire great package. Now the glyphs that you're going to see on the actual packaging, the glyphs you're going to see on the shoe aren't actual hieroglyphics, even though they kind of look like it. Um, what they actually did was create a whole alphabet of glyphs for Kyrie Irving. Um, I don't, I'm sure he had a lot of creative input given his actual uh, role at the brand, but overall it creates a whole great aesthetic for the Antikai one. The design of the anti kai one is very familiar in a way, but very different. So when you look at the kai one, it looks like a traditional Kyrie shoe. So it's a little bit on the lower side in terms of the cut, but when you move on to the outsole, you have like a little hourglass um, design or pattern on the outsole itself. You have a midfoot strap that Kyrie has famously had on a lot of his signature shoes. Um, and then you have some embroidery on the toe box. And that embroidery is a really, really nice touch. It's a multicolor embroidery. Um, and then you just have like these purple hits all over the shoe. Um, you have the Anta logo, which actually doubles as a TPU, not a shank, but some like some type of containment for the foot itself um, helps with that lateral stability. But overall, the design of the Anta Kai one is familiar, but different if that makes any sense at all. Um, I'm a big fan of the design and then on foot especially that top-down view is very very good And then the side profile that silhouette. It's just a great looking shoe overall Materials aren't anything to write home about to be completely honest with you Obviously, there's not any kind of like 
um, raw materials. There's no leathers or suede or anything like that, but that doesn't make or break a shoe, obviously. What makes or breaks a shoe is the design itself, the containment, the traction, um, the cushioning, and all those things. But in terms of the just materials themselves, they is like a vinyl upper, has a very, very strong odor. I'm not sure if that's the paint or the material itself. Um, it does have a little bit of a knit embroidery, like I said earlier, on the toe box. Um, and then you have like really, really thick padding on the interior of the shoe. But overall, the materials, again, aren't super high quality, but $125, they have to make compromises at some places. Fortunately, the compromises they do make don't come at the expense of uh, performance overall. Now we talk about the materials. Uh, there's not any real heavyweight materials on the shoe. The upper is like a lighter, thinner vinyl material. Then you have the embroidery or knit material on the toe box. And then you feature some of it on the lateral and medial side along with some meshes. Um, but overall, it doesn't feel like a particularly heavy shoe. It comes in weighing 16.7 ounces for a 12 and a half or 473 grams. Now, when it comes to the fit and the step in comfort and things like that, the fit is fantastic. I got a 12 and a half because traditionally, like I said earlier, Kyrie's tend to run a bit narrow. I have a few Kyrie's from the Nike brand side of it, and they're very difficult to get on foot, specifically the Kyrie 5, I believe they were, where they had like a little Venus fly, fly trap kind of shroud on the midfoot area. And I literally couldn't get my foot in the shoe and I had the EP version, which makes it a little bit more friendly to wide footers. Um, that shoe I just couldn't get on foot, unfortunately. Um, and then any other Kyrie I've had, when I go true to size, um, they just, I just don't, can't get them on my foot. They don't fit very comfortably overall. So again, um, out of caution and specifically because I'm spending more on GOAT, I don't want to kind of mess up and get something that's not going to fit my foot. I got a size 12 and a half. And what I've realized is that they run a little bit probably truer to size than anything else. So with my wide feet in a size 12 and a half, I had a, quite a bit of room in the shoe. So I was able to tie the shoe a little bit tighter, strap that little midfoot strap a little bit tighter and keep them on foot. Overall, containment was very, very good. I did have a lot of room in the toe box and things like that, but if you're a wide footer, you probably are gonna be safe going true to size. If you're narrow to normal size foot person, I would probably stick true to size. You might have a little bit of room in the toe box, um, but just get that midfoot, midfoot strap strapped a little bit tighter, tie the shoelaces a little bit tighter, and I think you should be good. When it comes to the breathability, as I said earlier, it features a lot of knits and a lot of meshes all over the shoe. Um, so breathability is fantastic. I don't think you're gonna have any issues with your uh, feet sweating or getting overheated or anything like that. Um, if you're playing outdoors or indoors, you should be good. Over on the cushioning side, I think one of the biggest highlights for me was the cushioning. So I have never played in a pair of Antas. I played in a pair of um, Way of Weights all cities or something like that. They were very good shoes. They fit my feet really, really well. Um, the cushioning was fantastic on those as well, but the Antikai one features full length um, nitro edge, which is basically nitrogen infused foam, which creates a more bouncy, um, as wear testers put it, um, a more elastic feel to the foam. And in my time playing in the shoe and then wearing the shoe casually, they were super duper like bouncy, comfortable, um, plush, they were stable. They, they do all the things you want in a basketball shoe, um, especially me being a big, they did them all very, very well. I, I loved the cushioning on the shoe. It was very comfortable. I played them. I played in them for hours. I wore them for hours and they were just extremely comfortable. Again, extremely bouncy and they just did all the things I would want in a basketball shoe. Um, they did them in this shoe. Traction on the Antikai one was probably one of the best tractions I have ever played in. I don't know why, and I don't know if it's a byproduct of the particular court that I was playing on. It was clean, but also I think there was a little bit of humidity on the court, which probably helped with the grip. But based on my experience with them, I don't think that had a whole lot to do with the type of traction I was playing on because this traction was incredible. 
just stopping on the dime, making the cuts I wanted to make with no issues. I didn't have to wipe the shoe at all. Um, it was collecting dust, but it really didn't impact the traction at all. Overall, I think the best feature of the shoe was probably the traction alone, just because it was doing things that I had no, I have never really experienced with the shoe before. I was again, just st making those stops, making those cuts and never really having to wipe at all. I was just extremely impressed by the traction on the anti Kai one. Pricing on the anti Kai one, as we said earlier, a mind blowing $125, $100, $25, you get a slide out drawer box, you get a fantastic looking shoe, great design, incredible traction, incredible cushioning, decent fit. I think, you know, the fit's gonna be dependent on the person and your preference. Um, the fit was good, but overall, I think traction and cushioning probably take the cake in terms of um, the highlights of this shoe. At $125, this is a no brainer. Um, I sprung for the GOAT version. Um, it was a $225 roughly, but I think it was well worth the money considering you're spending much more, for instance, on a pair of LeBrons at $200, sometimes $210 to $15. Um, at $125, or even if you're paying a little bit of a resale at $200 or so, um, it's very well worth the money for what you're getting in return. My overall thoughts on the anti kai one, if it isn't obvious, I love this shoe. Um, I think this is one of the best basketball shoes I've played in in a very long time. This is easily my favorite shoe of 2024. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be another shoe that beats this um, in 2024 at least, and I'm very, very excited about the direction of Anta and Kyrie as a brand, as a partnership. He did sign a five-year deal, so obviously we're gonna see more shoes coming from that partnership and from that brand. And I'm hoping that we get to see more Anta shoes in stores. Right now, I don't think they're sold in any US, um, US stores like Foot Locker or Finish Line, JD Sports or anything like that. On the US side, these aren't available in stores, so it's not like I can tell someone, go out, try them on before you get them. It's one of those things you kind of just have to take a leap of faith, unfortunately, and get the size that you think you should get, and hopefully it works out. And if it doesn't, try and resell them and get what you need. But overall, I think you get these in hand, you're gonna be, be, you're gonna be extremely, extremely happy with the shoe, you're gonna be extremely happy with the performance, and you're gonna be extremely happy with the fact that you didn't have to break the bank to get an excellent pair of shoes. That will just about do it for this video. If there's anything I missed or anything you wanna know about the anti Kai one please leave a comment. If you liked this video, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. But if you really, really liked it, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and you have a good day.